know why, but for whatever reason, things like to come in the same day. I've always actually said that Wednesdays are the parcel day. Today is Wednesday, so the parcel came on Wednesday. Hey everybody, it's DJ B and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren and today we're going to be unboxing some Briar horses. This particular one came from the US. I got charged extra customs fees on it, which is always super annoying. It took them three attempts to deliver this to my house. I'm just happy to be here and happy to be unboxing this. It's in a horse box. Happy horses, healthy horses. What's your horse missing? So there's two ponies in here. Wow. 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 So I actually already have this model. This is the original Briar Huckleberry Bay and he was kind of the icon of the time. Uh, the sculpt is really dynamic, really beautiful and he's just a really lovely model. I purchased one a long time ago that I was hoping would be really nice and he arrived super damaged on one side and it's it's, it's always bothered me because I wanted a good condition one. He's really cool and I'm really happy to have one that's in really good condition. That's a really nice model. I was on the fence. I wanted this horse for sure, but I was on the fence about him and I'm glad that I went for it. This one's really exciting. Oh, he's so cool. So, so cool. Ah! I love him. He's funky. So this was like recent. This is actually Briarfest 2022. So last year they released this guy. And he is the special run Brahms was his name. And I'm not a glossy person, but I just, I really, Big Ben has a spot in my heart for sure. Spot. <laughs> so we can even put them back here. This is ultra, ultra exciting. I'm trying not to buy Briars. That's what I say all the time. I'm trying to like tone it down. My wish list is really, really narrow now. There's not a lot I want, and my limit is the wall behind the camera. I honestly, I can't have any more briars. Like that's already a lot. I already feel like I need to pare it down a bit. There's a couple that I probably could part with. It's very specific, hard to find pieces at this point. And this is a piece that I've said no to several times over. And this person was in Canada offering in Canadian dollars, so I went for it. And I'm not supposed to be purchasing, I'm supposed to be saving money right now. It's hard when the perfect situation comes up, it's hard because you gotta do it or you're gonna regret it and you'll never see it again. I've done that a few times. I actually had the opportunity to buy the matte stone lace surprise on the flash mold in the Leopard Appaloosa color. And I still think about that to this day. She gave me first dibs and I said no. This one is packaged with newspaper. I love that because I can recycle it. Loose thing in bubbles. Oh, this is so exciting. <gasps> but she's like stunning. Wow. Uh, wow. So this is the QVC uh, Baby's First Steps set. She forgot to send the child. Oh, I found him. Child is here. <laughs> I feel like I always clean my studio and then I buy more crap and I have to clean the studio again and it's an endless cycle that you will never win. Oh, but he's so cute. Oh, he has a gimpy eye, but I can fix that. This mare is really detailed and nice looking without a doubt. So I am pleased with all of these guys. They're all really good. This is like iconic vintage models that I'm starting to collect, which is kind of funny. 